Hi, I'm Rafael Ruffalo, and I'm here to review the Sony Xperia Arc. Um, it is the latest uh, Android 2.3 gingerbread smartphone, one of the first uh, gingerbread smartphones to hit the market besides Google's Nexus S. Um, and, you know, one of the first things that you'll notice when comparing this phone to the Google Nexus S is that it just looks so much nicer. It is an absolutely beautiful phone. Uh, the screen is great. Uh, you're not going to get many fingerprints um, on the phone, uh, and it's just a nice-looking phone. You'll definitely turn heads uh, when you're um, using it on the subway or on the bus or wherever you use it. The phone features a uh, 1 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. A lot was made over the fact that this doesn't use a dual-core processor, but really you don't notice a difference. Um, the, the scrolling is very smooth. Um, you can multitask with a lot of apps, and you're not going to get much of a slowdown. Watching HD video, I didn't have a problem. Um, there was, it, all the video ran without a hiccup, um, and app performance was great. Really the standout feature of this phone though is its 8.1 megapixel camera. You have a boatload of options as you can see here as I'm scrolling through. Um, the performance of it is great. I mean if you take uh, pictures in uh, low level lighting it, they're going to come out great and you're not going to need um, a, uh, to buy a camera, uh, a digital camera if you're a big photography nut. This is going to be able to fit the bill. And it also can shoot uh, 720 uh, video. Um, and you have other features like face detection, um, back, light, back illuminated sensoring, just a whole bunch of great uh, options and it's a really high quality uh, camera. Uh, another thing about the phone, it's just so lightweight um, and uh, you know when you, when you look at some of the other phones, I have uh, used a lot of Android phones and this is really the lightest and the sleek design, it just, it just really looks like a great phone. But that's where the pros really stop because there is some cons here. Uh, one of the biggest issues I found is just uh, there is a, a disappointing amount of onboard memory. You only get, uh, I think, uh, 5, 12 megabytes, and even with that, it, it comes with some bloatware, uh, which, which is re apps really that you would probably immediately delete when you get the phone, so you don't really even get the 5, uh, 12 memory. Um, you, there is a, an option to have an SD card up to 8 gigabytes, but just you'd like to see these phones come with more onboard memory. I know the Google Nexus S has like 16 gigabytes of memory, so that's something I'd like to see upgraded. Also, it, you've got some uh, Sony uh, Ericsson specific features like Timescape and Mediascape that you just won't use. It, it, it's pretty customizable, you can get rid of it, but it is kind of a chore. With battery life, uh, I would I would have put the score at average uh, with a lot of these uh, Android phones and you know smartphones in general. There's just such a, a a hog on the battery and you end up having to charge every night. It same goes with this phone. It's maybe a little bit better than other Android phones I've used, uh, but not spectacular. Um, also, when you're listening to the uh, the speakers, uh, if you're watching a, vi a video, you're going to need headphones. This, the sound quality is not that good. But uh, all in all, if you're looking for a uh, Android 2.3 gingerbread phone, the latest, greatest uh, operating system right now out there. Uh, you, you, it's between this and the Google Nexus S, and I would choose this. It just looks so much nicer, um, and the, the, the performance is actually pretty solid. Uh, no slowdowns on the apps, no slowdowns watching videos, and what more can you ask for? For Computer World Canada, I'm Rafael Ruffalo. Thanks for watching.